I recently published a short about sealed interfaces and got a good observation as a comment that um, sealed interfaces are violating the solid principle and, um, and so indirectly encapsulation, which is absolutely true. So let's consider this example. This is like imaginary implementation of JDBC driver. So let's say the connection API, this JDBC connection, uh, permits only Oracle and Postgres, which means if I would... If I get the uh, the API of the JDBC driver, I already know details about the service provider interface, which is Oracle DB and Postgres. Not the implementation, but I know that both are existing. What means is, every if I would like to support a new database, I will have to to uh, to uh, re redistribute, recompile, and redistribute the JDBC API. So bad idea, but. On the other hand, let's consider this example. This is actually the example I used in the in the prior short. So there is an app which permits PWA and applet. So if this is a business application, this is absolutely okay to say that because we absolutely know what what, what, what will come, right? If we will um, implement, let's say, a terminal, we will have to redistribute the application anyway. So and this in this particular case, I would prefer this over, let's say, Java doc where I will implement uh, or where I will document look, this is an app, and this app is implemented by PWA and, and um, applet interfaces. So um, what means is, in this particular case, the sealed interfaces or the permits keyword even contributes to um, um, or, or increases the understandability of the design of the application.